Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will learn R's complement and R minus 1's complement. For any number system, there are two types of complements. They are R's complement and R minus 1's complement. The other name for R's complement is radix complement. The other name for R minus 1's complement is diminished radix complement. For binary number system, there are 2's complement and 1's complement. Because in binary number system, the radix value is 2. Radix is nothing but base. Binary base value is 2. So, there are 2's complement and 1's complement. For decimal number system, there are 10's complement and 9's complement. For octal number system, there are 8's complement and 7's complement. For hexadecimal number system, there are 16's complement and 15's complement. 15 is represented by F in hexadecimal. So, you can call this as F's complement. Next, we will see how to calculate R's complement and R minus 1's complement. R's complement is calculated from the formula R power N minus capital N. Here, capital N is the number for which we are going to calculate R's complement. And R is the base of the number system. This small n represents the number of bits present in this number capital N. Next one, R minus 1's complement. It is calculated from the formula R power N minus capital N minus 1. Here R power N minus capital N is R's complement. So you can write this expression as R minus 1's complement is equal to R's complement minus 1. You can also write this as R's complement is equal to R minus 1's complement plus 1. And this is the simplest way to calculate the R's complement of any number. First, you have to calculate R minus 1's complement, then add 1 with that to get the R's complement. Because the direct computation of R's complement is somewhat difficult because it involves borrow operation which makes this subtraction more complex. So, normally we are using this method to calculate the R's complement. R minus 1's complement. So, this is the formula to calculate R minus 1's complement. So, the given number is subtracted from r power n minus 1. If n is equal to 3, then for decimal number system, this r power n minus 1 becomes 999. Here base value is 10 and n value is 3. So, 10 power 3, 1000. 1000 minus 1 is 999. So, you have to subtract your number from 999. Similarly, for octal number system, 8 power 3 minus 1 becomes 777. And for Hexadecimal number system, 16 power 3 minus 1 becomes FFF. And for binary number system, 2 power 3 minus 1 becomes 111. 2 power 3 is 8. 8 minus 1 is 7. You have to represent 7 in binary, that is 111. Here you have to subtract the given number from this value. Here n is a 3 bit number. So you can write this n as n naught. n2 right so this is the given number n which has three bits so you have to subtract this number from 999 if it is a decimal number system or you have to subtract it from 777 if it is an octal number system or you have to subtract this from fff if it is a hexadecimal number system and you have to subtract it from 111 if it is a binary number system so you can conclude that if you want to find R minus 1's complement of any number with base R, you have to subtract each digit in the given number from the largest number present in that number system. So, next one is R's complement. This is the formula to calculate R's complement. If n is equal to 3, for decimal number system, this R power n becomes 1000. Decimal base value is 10, so 10 power 3, 1000. And for octal number system, here also R power 3 is 1000. 0, 0, 0. And for hexadecimal number system, here also R power 3 is 1000. 0, 0, 0. And for binary also, the value is 1000. 0, 0, 0. So if the number of bit is 3, then you have to subtract your number from 1000 0, 0, 0 to get the R's complement. Calculation of R's complement using this formula involves borrow operation. Already I told you that which makes this subtraction more complex. Let us see one example. Here 2's complement of 101. Here number of bit is 3. So we have to subtract this number from 
1000 to get the two's complement. So 1000, you have to subtract 101 from this. Here 0, here 1. You cannot subtract 1 from 0. So you have to get a borrow from the next question. So it involves the borrow operation. So we go for another method. That is, the R's complement is calculated from R minus 1's complement. So this is the simple method to calculate the R's complement. Next, let us see how to calculate 9's complement and 10's complement. Find 9's complement and 10's complement of 8945. First, let us calculate 9's complement. To find 9's complement, you have to subtract each digit in this number from 9. Subtract each digit from 9. So you get 1054. So this is the 9's complement of 8945. Next one, 10's complement. Already we know that R's complement can be calculated from R minus 1's complement by adding 1 with that. So here also you can calculate 10's complement from 9's complement by adding 1 with the 9's complement. So to get 10's complement, add 1 with this. Now you get 1055. This is the 10's complement of 8945. Let us check the answer. This is the formula to calculate R's complement. Here the base value is 10 and the number of bit is 4. So you get 10 power 4 minus the n value is 8945. 10 power 4 is 10,000. So if you are subtracting 8945 from 10,000, you get the 10's complement. Then the answer is 1055. So we get the same answer here. So you can use any method to calculate the 10's complement. Next, 2's complement and 1's complement. Find 1's complement of 10110. To find 1's complement, you have to subtract each digit from 1. 1 minus 0, 1. 1 minus 1, 0. 1 minus 1, 0. 1 minus 0, 1. 1 minus 1, 0. So this is the 1's complement of the number 10110. If you are comparing these two numbers, this is the original number and this is the 1's complement of that number. If you are comparing this, we can conclude that 1's complement is obtained by inverting each bit. Because here we are having 1, here 0. Here 0, here we are having 1. Here 1, 0. 1, 0, 0, 1. So the 1's complement can be obtained by inverting each bit in the number. Find 1's complement of 11101. So by inverting each bit, you get the 1's complement. So the 1's complement of this number is 00010. So next, find 2's complement of 10110. To get 2's complement, you have to add 1 with the 1's complement. So first, we have to calculate 1's complement. So this is the given number. To get 1's complement, you have to invert each digit in this number. So 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. This is the 1's complement of the given number. To get 2's complement, you have to add 1 with this. If you are adding 1, you get 1 plus 1, some 0, carry 1. So 1 plus 0, 1, 0, then 1, then 0. So this is the 2's complement of the given number. Let us check the answer. This is the formula to calculate R's complement. Here R is the base. It is a binary number. So base value is 2. N is the number of bits. Here the number of bits is 5. So you can write 2 power 5 minus capital N is the given number. So 10110. 2 power 5 is 32. So you can represent it in binary as 100000. So you have to subtract this number from this right. 0, 0, so you get 0. In next question, 0, here 1. We cannot subtract 1 from 0. So you have to get a borrow from next question. Here also 0. So we have to move to next question. Here also 0. Then we have to move to next question. Then here also 0. We have to move to next question. Here 1. So you can get a borrow from here. So this will give a borrow 2. So now we are having 2 here. 
and this becomes 0. Again, this 2 will give a borrow. So now here it becomes 2. And here the value is 1. And this will give a borrow. And here now you get 2. And this will become 1. This will give a borrow to the next question. So now you get 2 here. And this value becomes 1. So 2 minus 1 is 1. And here 1 minus 1 is 0. And here 1 minus 0 is 1. Again 1 minus 1 is 0. So this is the 2's complement of 1 0 1 1 0. So we get the same answer here. Next question. Find the 1's and 2's complement of 1 1 1 0 1 1. So to get 1's complement you have to invert each digit. So the 1's complement of the number is 0 0 0 1 0 0. Next to get the 2's complement to add 1 with this 1's complement. So you get 0 0 0 1 0 1. This is the 2's complement of the given number. I hope that you all understand 1's complement and 2's complement. Thank you for watching.